Hello, I'm Abby. In this video, we will be discussing the role of Brownian motion in financial physics. In physics, Brownian motion describes the random movement of the particles in a fluid or a gas. It was discovered by Robert Brown in 1827 when he observed the mysterious movement of pollen grains in water. The random motion of the pollen was explained to be due to knocking by individual molecules in the water, with the cumulative effect enough to move the grains around, despite them being 10,000 times larger than the water molecules. It serves as one of the fundamental studies in physics, aiding the proof of the existence and movement of atoms and molecules. This concept has been used beyond physics, into the world of finance, where it has been used to model the random movement of stock price which evolves continuously over time, and to describe how financial markets behave. Brownian motion is a simple continuous stochastic process, which models random behaviors that evolve over time. A stochastic process is a collection of random variables which are defined on a common probability scale. For example, if x is a random variable at a time t, the collection of these outcomes gives a stochastic process. The mathematical notation on the screen shows the continuous time stochastic process, x, made up of t random variables. The fluctuations of stock prices are influenced by a variety of factors, such as economic conditions, company news, and investor sentiment. The theory suggests these fluctuations are independent and random, therefore the direction of stock price at any time cannot be predicted with complete accuracy. However, many attempts have been made to make an accurate model. Stochastic modeling is a form of financial model used to aid investment decisions. It predicts the probability of various outcomes of different conditions for certain levels of unpredictability or randomness. An example of the use of stochastic modeling is the Monte Carlo simulation, which is explained in another video. Louis Bachelier mathematically defined Brownian motion, which he proposed as a model for asset price movements, publishing his ideas, in 1900, in a doctoral thesis on speculation in the French bond market. He theorized that the small fluctuations in price over short time intervals should be independent of the current price value, and worked with the assumption that they are also independent of past behavior. This led him to understand the increments of the process are independent and normally distributed. The increments in the price are independent Gaussian random intervals. Wiener also worked on a similar idea, applying his previous work on integration on function space to a study on Brownian motion in his paper, Differential Space, with the differences being the independent Gaussian increments of the process. Wiener's mathematical model of Brownian motion is known as the Wiener process and is used to model the evolution of stock price in financial physics. He worked with the assumption that the change in stock price over small time intervals is proportional to the current stock price and is a normally distributed random variable with mean zero and a standard deviation proportional to the square root of the time interval. For any fixed time t, the probability of differentiability is zero. The axioms of Brownian motion are as follows. Number 1. Brownian motion has independent increments. This means that as time proceeds, each increment is independent of the others. So, for the times r, s and t, the increment from times r to s is independent of that from s to t. Number 2. Brownian motion has stationary increments. The distribution between bs and bt depends entirely on the time values between s and t, and on nothing else. Number 3. The distribution is normal. Therefore, the distribution between bs and bt can be represented as shown on the screen, where mu is the mean, and sigma squared is the variance. Number 4. Brownian motion has continuous sample paths. It will always be continuous at any time, so there are no jumps or discontinuities. Distribution follows the form on screen, with the standard normal distribution having mean 0 and a variance of 1. As Brownian motion has a normal distribution, bt to bs can be distributed as shown, and the standard Brownian has mean 0 and a variance of t minus s. The initial Brownian motion, b0, is 0. In the next video, we will look at explaining these fluctuations in the price in further detail, considering the model of random walk.